Why are you bullying me? Uh-oh, looks like Salty Old Gamer may have gotten an LMG. Mm-hmm. Mother of God. Hey everybody, welcome. Today we're gonna check out what we got in Evix October Box of Awesomeness Firepower Edition. But before we do, if this is your first time here and you're into gear guides, gun reviews, gameplay, and all sorts of other cool airsoft stuff, make sure you join us by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you don't miss anything. All right guys, so this is our second ever Evic Box of Awesomeness. And you're always gonna get a good deal on these because they're usually open box items like things that have been demoed or things that are on display, but they're still in good working condition and they're still under Evix complete warranty. But you're gonna pay a lot less for it. In our first BOE, we got $500 worth of airsoft gear for just 169. So we're hoping for something equally as good this time. So as you may have seen in those opening quotes, I've taken abuse from time to time about playing full auto a lot early on in my airsoft career. But I do play at a field where it's completely allowed and it's pretty fun. Now I have since switched to mid caps and I do stick to semi only mostly lately, but there's no debating the fact that playing full autos, it's just fun. I always felt like maybe I was better suited for an LMG. Well, Evic has made some type of major arrangement with F. N. Herstel for their new para featherweight M249 because they're short selling a, a butt ton of them. In fact, I looked at every possible box you could get and there's only one that doesn't have the para featherweight in it. And if I get that one, it's gonna be a top of the line Scar H, which I will be completely happy with. But I think my chances are pretty darn good, but we're gonna walk away from here with a new LMG. And for only $169. So hey, let's go see what's in the box. Oh, what's in the box? All right guys, we are here to unbox Evix October Box of Awesomeness Firepower Edition. Looks like we probably do have a pair of featherweight M249 saw underneath this guy. But on top here, we've got an ASG Steyr licensed AUG A2. Sweet. Now on my short, short list right now is an SVD semi-automatic sniper rifle, an Elite Force limited edition MP5K. And I've always wanted to Steyr AUG ever since back in the diehard days. And of course I wanted to get some type of LMG. Well, looks like I'm gonna knock out two birds with one stone. Well, actually, this is the uh, this is a special edition uh, Evike OD Green version. You can only get this at Evike, and this gun I think goes for one hundred and eighty-five dollars. And it's brand smacking new, still in the wrapping. And you know what? I'm not gonna break the wrapping on this guy. I'm gonna save that for the in-depth review and unboxing of this gun. Yeah, and look, there's a peak. FN Herstel, definitely that pair of featherweight down there. I mean, this is a sport line version, so the body is all polymer. It does have a metal barrel and full metal version three gearbox, but the rest of the body is all polymer. So it's kind of a mid-range AEG. And the AUG is a bullpup design. What that means is that the receiver, the bolt carrier, and the magazine are all located behind the pistol grip. And what that bullpup design does for the gun is it, is it gives it kind of submachine gun dimensions while you've got it couched in your shoulder, but it still has a very long inner barrel going from about here all the way down to the end. So it's really got a barrel that's as long as most standard M4s out there. It comes with detachable flip-up sights, bag of BBs, nunchuck nim battery, battery charger, ergonomic molded folding vertical grip up front, which you can fold out of the way if you don't want to use that. 300 round high capacity magazine. It's supposed to shoot around 330 to 350, so it should be good for indoors and outdoors, but we'll see when we do the in-depth review and the chrono testing. Metal Picatinny rail up top for mounting your, your optics or cameras or or whatever accessories you want to mount. I've really made no secret lately of the fact that I love the bullpup design. I really like that futuristic look. And this gun's actually kind of old. It, it was actually designed in the 60s to replace the FAL. Went into service, I think, in the 70s. So it's been in use for a really, really long time. And it still has that futuristic look. All right, cool, guys. So knock that one off the short list of guns I want to add to my arsenal. We now have an AUG. All right, and of course under that, we have got the FN Herstel Para Featherweight M249. Looks like it's had a little damage. Hopefully nothing that hurt the actual gun itself. Let's get this guy out of here. Now it looks like we have an additional little bag of goodies. Let's check what we got in here first. Looks like we've got a Molinabi hex patch and a hex mag 120 round mid cap magazine. Cool. Does look like it got dropped or something. I don't see any actual damage though. Oh, we got the gun itself. It looks pretty solid. It does not look polymer at all, does it? But a lot of this is polymer. We're gonna take it out, we're gonna look at it. It does take standard M4 magazines, 
And of course, it is set up to take a box mag. It looks like this would be a space for the box mag if you got a, uh, a version that came with the box mag, but it does not out of the box for the original list price come with the box mag. And speaking of which, the original list price for this is $220. So, I mean, I knew going into this that I was probably going to get the uh, the featherweight saw because it's practically in every box. And that's really what I wanted. So, I'm getting a $220 gun for $169. That's already a deal right there. Then, on top of that, I've got an in the cellophane, never before opened, $185 Steyr AUG, plus a little $4 patch and a $15 mag. I mean, let's do our math real quick here. That's $405, $420, 424 so for $169, we've gotten $424 worth of airsoft stuff. Really can't complain. So this is our pair stock. It goes on the back of the gun and it does look like, yeah, so it looks like we've got a short pin and a long pin to attach the butt stock to the gun. It's got a metal fold up shoulder rest. We'll just be able to rotate it. Yep. And then slide it in for compact storage or compact carry. But let's get this bad boy out and have a closer look at it. All right, and we want the full effect, so let's see if we can put the put the buttstock on it. All right, this guy's being difficult. We need tools. Ooh, those suckers were stubborn. Let's get a good close look at this guy. It does come with a attached bipod. It looks like um, looks like if you run a run without it, you're always gonna have to have this ring part on it. It looks like that's permanent. It looks like you can take this pin out if you want to run without it. So the bipod legs are, are plastic. Um, they fold together and then they, they catch right here underneath the gun. Let's extend it and have a look. Sweet. Uh, there we go, full effect. Polymer Picatinny rails on top and then on the side and the bottom. Polymer heat shield. Um, like the real gun, you can take the barrel out just with a simple push of this button right here. If you want to take the barrel out, we're not going to take it all the way out right now, but the barrel will come all the way all out. You know, I've never played with a full metal saw, so I can't really speak to how heavy they are, but this gun's still heavy. I mean, it clocks in close to nine pounds, which is heavier than almost any M4 you're gonna have out there, even full metal M4s. So the featherweight designation is, is definitely relative. It is featherweight compared to other full metal LMGs, but still a lot heavier than any metal M4 out there. It is mostly polymer. I mean, the heat shield's polymer. The body itself is polymer. The bipod legs are polymer. Bipod swivel attachment is metal. Carry arm is metal. Barrel assembly is metal. Full metal version two gearbox. And the internal magwell parts are metal as well. Let's look at this other side. Not much else to speak about on this side. Looks like there's a, uh, a faux non-functioning charging handle. Speaking of which, let's look inside this guy and see how you adjust the hop up, where you put the battery, all that good stuff. There's a couple of pins at the back here that you squeeze to open up the top hatch. It gives you access to the piston and the gearbox. There's really not a battery compartment to speak of. Uh, there's just some extra space back here. It's perfectly sized for like a PEC style IPO. I've, I've seen that those fit perfectly down in there, but I've also, also seen that there's, there's space enough in the recess of this top piece that you can actually lay other regular style batteries on top of the piston, which seems a little janky to me, but I know it works. Like you can lay a nunchuck style IPO battery on top of there and it'll close just fine. Your hop-up's right here. It's just a rotary style hop-up that you adjust with your finger. Very easy to get to. It's got this little flip-up thing that's supposed to make it easier to get to, but I don't see that there's any actual need to do that at all. You can get to it just as easily with it down. I don't know if we can see it in the video, but there actually is a quick change spring system on this gun. And that pretty much covers it, guys. I'm withholding judgment on it until I actually get, get out there and fire it. But it definitely, definitely looks cool. I'm excited to go out there and play with it. Suppressing fire. Ah get some, baby! All right, guys, so we're gonna be laying down some spray in some future gameplay video, you can rest assured. And even though the body of this gun is polymer, it feels badass and I cannot wait to get out the field with it. Like we said, we've been wanting to add an LMG to our arsenal. And what better way than to get a $220 LMG for $169 in the box of awesomeness? And that's just this gun. That doesn't even count the $185 completely unopened ASG Styrog 2 that we got in the same box, plus a patch and a magazine. 
$424 worth of airsoft gear for just $169. And we are absolutely going to do in-depth reviews of both that AUG and this Featherweight M249. And we'll hopefully include some example gameplay in that in-depth review as well whenever that hits. But before you go, if you haven't already, join our airsoft journey by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video that comes out every Tuesday with bonus videos on Fridays. And until then, we'll see you next time.